chalky milk. And now that I'm done with it, I'm gonna turn it into a catch cup. And you know what that means. Okay guys, so the manager of our complex, Peter, has informed me that there's a red back running loose in the basement and he said I could go catch it because he knows I love spiders. So come on guys, let's go. It's just a... Okay guys, so here she is, the red back spider. Now she's not all that big, but she's still very lethal. Her venom makes her one of the most deadliest spiders in the world. Six on the charts, it's crazy. And in my complex, there's actually a lot of kids that run around here every day. So Peter's asked if I could remove the red back. A bite from a red back, even at this size, could kill a small child. So let's catch it. All right, guys, so here she is. That was so easy. Let's get her into a new home. Here we go. This is her enclosure. She's going straight in. Um, okay, boom. Now the last thing is this lid of a Ferrero Rocher container that will be ideal for her to web underneath. And also it's really clear so we can see through it, which would be great for filming. Just put some wet sphagnum moss in there to add some moisture. And like immediately she started to drink, like fully dug her fangs into the moss. She must be really thirsty. I've never seen a redback drink like this. This is sick as. So this footage is taken a day after the catch and keep and we didn't want to feed her straight away because you know how some animals are a bit sensitive when they go into the new enclosure? So we wanted her to web up a bit so she could, you know, settle in right. Check out her setup, all those trip lines just ready to go. And I'm going to chuck a cricket in and see what happens. Watching this catch and keep episode today guys and I'll keep you up to date with my tiny red back spider.